UNLV got a comprehensive win in their home opener, beating the Idaho State Bengals 52 to 21. And if they keep on playing like this, more fans will be coming to the games, which is also a big win for the local economy as their move to Allegiant Stadium is paying dividends. And everybody's revved up, you know, everybody's got their red on and cheering. It's nice to see. There was plenty to cheer for Saturday on the Rebels' side with the team dominating Idaho State in their home opener. And as the team hit the jackpot in points, <laughs> Rebels fans were thrilled with the atmosphere at Allegiant Stadium. It's crazy. I never thought we would be able, first of all, to come to Vegas and then to come to this stadium. That's pretty cool. The stadium was built with public funds along with the stipulation UNLV football would have home games there. The school says ever since the team moved from Sam Boyd Stadium to Allegiant, there's been a marked increase in season ticket sales. The 2020 inaugural season drawing a 34% increase from 2019. NLV, go, play, play. Latest numbers from the university shows events in their facilities coupled with home football games at Allegiant have drawn about $485 million in visitor spending. Fans aren't surprised by the numbers. It's so to the turf, you know, nicer place, more money. To keep the momentum going, the Rebels plan to keep hitting pay dirt on the football field with their play. You get the experience, you know, if you can't afford the Raiders game, you might as well come here and enjoy the Rebels. The Rebels will look to remain undefeated as they travel to Berkeley to play the Cal Bears on September 10th, the next home game on September 17th against North Texas. Reporting at Allegiant Stadium, I'm Jeremy Chet.